Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, write the equation of this ellipse um, when given the vertex, the point, and the axis of symmetry. So the first thing we want to do is identify you know, what type of equation. Are we going to use the equation where the axis of symmetry is vertical, or it's going to be horizontal? And um, we can see x equals 0 is the axis of symmetry. And we know that x equals 0, that's going to produce a vertical line. And x equals x equal 0. Um, axis symmetry is actually the y-axis, which kind of could be confusing with all these x's and y's. But let's just kind of plot the information anyways, just to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So the vertex is at 0, 0. They're giving us a point, 3, 6. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Um, and the axis symmetry is, on, uh, is at x equals 0. So I know the focus is going to be you know, somewhere in there, and I know it's going to go through that point. So it has to open up like that, right? It can't open up down, because then it would never go through the point 3, 6. Um, so I know the graph is going to open up. So therefore, I can use the form x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. All right. Now remember, the vertex is h, comma k, which in this case, we have 0, 0. So I have. Um, x minus 0 is just x squared equals 4p times y minus 0 is just y squared. OK. Uh, not y squared, just y. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out p, right? What exactly is this focus? I just estimated, right? But really, we need to know what is the distance from the vertex to the focus, which is p. So we don't know p, but we do know a point 3, 6. And any point on the parabola is you know, really a coordinate in x and y. So what I can do is if I plug in 3 in for x and 6 in for y, then the only variable left that I could solve for would be p. So I put 3 squared equals 4 times p times 6. That equals 9 equals 4 or equals 4 times 6 is 24. p divided by 24 divided by 24. Nine, uh, I can reduce this. Divide a 3 in the top and bottom, so I have 3 eighths equals p. So therefore, it's actually not even close, but my focus is actually right around there, not even halfway. Um, that's going to be my focus. So now that I know my focus, I can plug in my focus back into my equation, which I have is x squared equals 4 times 3 eighths times y. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 8, again, does not reduce. But you could simplify this, actually, and just say 4. So that'd be 2. So x squared equals uh, 3 halves y. Then to solve for y, I will multiply by the reciprocal, 2 thirds on both sides. And therefore, my final equation is y equals 2 thirds x squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve uh, when given your vertex a point and the axis a symmetry, uh, which is vertical. Thanks.